Hello friends. So today we will learn how to launch a Jenkins on Linux environment. So let's so let's be create uh, one EC2 instance and then we will launch a Jenkins on that EC2 instance. So what we need to do first, we need to log into AWS console first. So you can see on my screen, I already logged in. So just go and check the EC2 here and go to the EC2 instance. Once it is done, once it is done, go to the instances and create a new instance. So you can see all the instances. I have few instances already on my machine, which is already stopped. So let's create a new instance. Go to the launch instance. Uh, I choose a default machine, so Amazon Linux 2, ME, select, uh, we'll choose a very least type of requirement, it's L2 micro, next, choose one instance, yes, go, next, no, no. we will choose as a default, next, configure a security group okay so let's choose all anywhere all traffic we are allowing because we are doing just a demonstration and anywhere so anyone can go and check go and review and launch so here we can see the warning yes because we choose all the default details and now I am just launching the new instance I am choosing the default and go click acknowledge and create a new instance so you can see uh, our new instance is ready to launch we will go and see so you can see here it's a pending state okay let me give you give the name test test Jenkins in save so here we have an instance which name is test Jenkins. It is showing as a pending right now. Let's wait a minute, wait for a minute. Okay. So now it's showing as a running, correct? So let's go and check the public IP address. Okay, I have a public IP address of this instance. Okay, now I will launch the putty. Friends, we should aware how to connect with the instance first so we should be aware about the few of the linux commands and let's see i have choosing the default system color appearance i am choosing the fonts so once i will connect it will give me a basic details so i am choosing best bold choose the color cap okay let's authenticate so go and choose your generated key which you have generated before launching okay open yes so let's see so default user will be the ec2 user for any linux instance when we are trying to connect okay now we have a linux instance with us what we need to do we need to install a Jenkins on this Linux environment. First of all, we have to go to the root user. So let me change. Okay. So now I am on a root user, correct? Okay. To install Jenkins, first of all, we required a Java, correct? So yum install Java. Star and see okay let's see so it will started installation of java files okay so installation is going on let me check again 
we should install actually yum install java star hash y so it will check whatever the already installed it will leave those packages and install all the required package on this environment <coughs> So it should be either 238 actually. So few of them already installed, few of the remaining is installing. So when it is done, we will go and install our Jenkins package. So meanwhile, let's go and check. Go to the Jenkins website. Jenkins. Jenkins, we go and see the download for our linux environment so we are using the centos fedora red hat once we are here we will just go and copy and follow the steps one by one correct so right now it is still installing the java package let's wait for a minute good so now our installation is java installation is done let's move to the to, to start our java uh, jenkins installation i've copied okay now next is rpm to import the jenkins io key okay start then we will install the java oh, sorry jenkins Okay, Jenkins installation is started. Yes, downloading the package. Okay, once it is done, we have to start our Jenkins. So let's wait, wait for a minute. Okay, good. So now our Java installation is done. Let's start this CTL. Start. Sorry, I missed. I think. Okay enable enable okay so now our jenkins is ready to launch let's go first of all we will copy the public ip paste give the port number 8080 and wait So you can see here our Jenkins is ready to launch. Correct. Our Jenkins is ready to launch. Now to launch it, we have we need a password. So go and check your putty. Get copy. Maybe we got the password. Yes, we got the password. Copy it and paste. Correct. Now continue. So when it is done, okay, maybe something is wrong with the password. Wait. Uh, let me copy somewhere else. Just a second. Okay. Yes, it is there. No space should be there in the password. Copy and paste. Okay. So, yes, now our Jenkins environment is ready to launch. Let's use the install suggested plugins. So, once we will click on this, it will install the default suggested plugins. When all is fine, 
we, we you can have a jenkin with us so guys it not take that much time only i think 10 to 12 minutes to launch a jenkins and it is really very easy to use tool and very essential tools for build up a huh? repository and packages we can use so many where the jenkins okay let's go with the i am i'm just skipping you can create you can put your username and password but i am keep it as a admin okay and save and finish start jenkins wow so now we are on a jenkins page yes correct here you got the jenkins website you've already logged in you can create a job you can configure with the cloud you can manage jenkins you can install jenkins and lots of other work so we will look into the next session where we will connect our jenkins with the github repository and try to build a package or build a project whenever anyone can commit on github it should be built in a jenkins so we will configure it in our next session thank you thank you so much please join and subscribe my channel